Hello, I am Lokman Singh, social science educator. Today we are going to see how Hyderabad joined India. An accession of Hyderabad which was named as Operation Polo. Let us see how this uh, operation got its name. People say that there were many polo grounds in Hyderabad which gave this operation its name. As we all know that before independent India was under British control. As you can see in this picture the red color area were directly ruled by Britishers and the yellow color areas were ruled by Nawabs and Kings under British administration. These states were known as a princely state. When the Britishers were departing from India in 1947 at the same time India got partitioned new country Pakistan was formed. So Britishers have given option to these princely state they can join India or they can join Pakistan or else they can be independent state. Here by 1948 almost all the princely state either they join India or they join the Pakistan but Hyderabad decided to be remain independent. Let us see the location and size of Hyderabad. As you can see in this picture, the red color boundary represents the state Hyderabad. Hyderabad covered most of the part of Telangana, Maharashtra and Karnataka. The area of Hyderabad was 2,14,190 square kilometers and 16.34 million were the population. The most of the population of the state, uh, that is 85% uh, of the population were Hindu ruled by Muslim Nizam. Hyderabad state was a multilingual state. People used to speak uh, Telugu, Marathi, Kannada and Urdu language. Hyderabad was uh, very rich in cultural heritage. The last Nizam of Hyderabad was uh, Mir Usman Ali Khan Asad Zaha 7. Mir Usman Ali Khan was the world's richest person according to 1937 survey. Hyderabad was well developed state. It was having its educational institutes, uh, medical institutes like uh, Usmania University, Usmania General Hospital, State Bank of Hyderabad, Begumpet Airport, Hyderabad High Court. Mir Usman Ali Khan have built two lakes to protect the city from the floods. They are Usman Sagar and Himayat Sagar. Hyderabad was the richest princely state in India under the 7th Nizam Mir Usman Ali Khan leadership. The annual revenue of Hyderabad was 9 crore and this state was having its own army, airline, telecommunication system, railway network, postal system, currency and radio broadcasting system. When the Britishers were departing from India in 1947, as I told you, they have given an option to all the princely state that they can join India or they can join Pakistan. Hyderabad decided to remain independent but it was having a secret talk with Pakistan and this was a threat to Indian national security. Hyderabad was the center of the India and being at this position if Hyderabad joined with Pakistan it was a great threat to India. Indian Prime Minister and Deputy Prime Minister Sadar Vallabhai Patel had continuously talked with Hyderabad Nawab Mir Usman Ali Khan but it was of no use. In 1926, Mohammad Nawaz, a retired Hyderabad official, founded the Majlis-e-Itihadul Muslimin which was also known as MIM. The main objective of this organization was to unite Muslims in the state in support of Nizam and to reduce Hindu majority by large scale conversion to Islam. Hyderabad Nizam, Ms. Mir Usman Ali Khan was also having a secret talk with Portuguese in Goa. 
he wanted to buy goa or take it on leave to get access to sea route indian prime minister jawaharlal nehru continuously had a talk with uh, hyderabad nawab that is mir usman ali khan and uh, avoid uh, military action but deputy prime minister of india sardar vallabhbhai patel indian national congress leader decided not to waste time in talking stand still agreement was signed according to this agreement uh, no military action will be taken against hyderabad for one year in the summer 1948 uh, patel sir uh, decided to take a uh, military action britishers encouraged india to resolve the issue without uh, the use of forces uh, but they denied to help uh, nizam nizam also made an unsuccessful attempt to seek help from united nation let us see the preparation of uh, military from hyderabad side 24000 soldiers out of which only 6000 were fully prepared trained and equipped hyderabad was also having 1268 muslims and 200000 irregular militia called razakars and which was guided by kasim rizvi let us see the indian military preparation strike forces comprising a mix of fast moving infantry cavalry and light artillery smash forces consisting of predominantly armed unit and artillery kill forces composed of infantry and engineering unit veer force which comprise infantry anti tank and engineering unit Major General Janatho Nath Chaudhary was uh, leading this army, and Abhay Singh was leading the uh, Gorkha Rifles. Now let us see the commanders and leaders from both the sides. From Hyderabad side, uh, Nizam Mir Usman Ali Khan and General S A L Idros uh, and uh, Kasim Rizvi. From India side, uh, Governor General Chakravarti Raj Gopalachari. Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru, Deputy Prime Minister Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel, Minister of Defence Baldev Singh, General Sir Roy Butcher, Air Marshal Thomas Imrit, and Lieutenant General Rajendra Singh Ji Jadeja, Major General Janathanath Chaudhary, Major General Ajit Rudra, and Air Vice Marshal Subrato Mukherjee. let us see the strength of both the sides indian armed forces 35000 indian armed forces and from hyderabad side hyderabad side 22000 hyderabad state forces and 200000 irregular razakars after the war let us see the casualty from both the sides india side less than 10 killed from hyderabad the side 807 state forces were killed and 1647 unknown wounded and 1373 razakars were killed and 1911 were captured people says that these figures were not exact figures so sundarlal committee was organized to know the casualty Sundarlal committee says that uh, 30 to 40 thousand civilians were killed, but from other resources, uh, it was told that 200 thousand civilians were killed. Now, finally, Hyderabad surrendered. Now, here in this image, you can see after the surrender of Hyderabad, uh, Sadar Vallabhbhai Patel, Deputy Prime Minister, came to. Begumpet Airport, uh, that is Hyderabad Airport, and here you can see Mir Usman Ali Khan. He is welcoming Sardar Vallabhbhai Patel. And in another picture, you can see that uh, Major General Syed Ahmed Al Idrus at the right side uh, surrendering himself uh, to Indian Army General Janatho Nath Chaudhary. So this is how Hyderabad uh, merged in India. hope you understood it well you like this video thank you very much for listening have a good day